Hi there. First of all, let me thank you for coming to this uh, newly launched site called PM Video and choosing this package. In this package, we are going to talk about organization structures, the way they were meant to be explained. You will understand it extremely well. You will be able to answer every possible question that can ever be thrown at you. In fact, you'll even become practically relevant. You know what? Don't just take my words for it. Let me show you a small glimpse of what you're going to find inside this particular package. Perfect. And we are on. And that's okay because he says, well, you know what? If everybody does exactly what they have to do day in and day out, right? Without looking at the whole picture, you have fantastic output. And that is why it is called division of labor with economies of scale. That is the whole concept behind functional or departmental organizations. Perfect, right? So now let's move on. In a matrix organizational form, which factors would make it easy? Now, when I say matrix, what does it mean? Remember that? Uh, which factor would make it easy for a project manager to provide a valid input into the employee's review? And let me switch on the poll so that you can actually give an answer, right? I've launched it and this question is now visible. So what does this question actually say? in a matrix organizational form. So when we say matrix, uh, just the word matrix is basically balanced matrix, 50-50, right? So in a matrix organizational form, which factor could make it easy for a project manager to provide a valid input into the employee's review? A, not working directly with the assigned functional employees. Well, <laughs> that does not even make sense. The employee spends a long, long time assigned to the project. Okay, this makes sense. Uh, C, not being knowledgeable enough to evaluate employees on the technical uh, judgment. Uh, this is actually a, a, a kind of an answer which looks good, but actually does not mean anything. So these are one of the traps that is laid in PMP exams. Some of these answers, some of these options, they sound good, but actually does not have any meaning. So for example, if you look at C again, it says, not being knowledgeable enough to evaluate employees on the technical judgment, then if he had no knowledge, then how would he actually give uh, any kind of a input, right? So the question is about uh, at what point of time can uh, a project manager provide valid input? So this is, a, this is an anti question. So C looks beautiful, but it is not correct at all, right? So it's, it's got to be eliminated, right? and the employee is working with the project manager for the first time, hmm, not really, all right? So the best answer, and I think I already gave you that answer in the tips and tricks that I wrote down, and that is the employee spends a long time assigned to the project. So I'm saying, all right, I hope that you liked the uh, glimpse that you had inside of this package. And if you like it, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching.